Hello, in this video we're going to derive an expression for marginal revenue for the monopolist and we're just going to use algebra. So marginal revenue is the change in revenue from producing one more unit of output. Here we have a demand curve for monopolist. At a price of $10 the firm sells two units. At a price of $8 the firm would sell three units. So let's look at some things over this range of the demand curve. At point A, revenue is price times quantity, 10 times 2, or $20. At point B, revenue is price times quantity, in this case $8 times 3, and we get total revenue of $24. Given that marginal revenue is a change in revenue from producing one more unit, so as we produce one more unit, our revenues go up by $4. That's marginal revenue. Another way of thinking about it is marginal revenue is the change in revenue divided by the change in quantity. So in our case, revenue went from $20 to $24, a $4 increase, and the change in the quantity of output, output went from 2 to 3 units, just a 1 unit change, so we get 4 divided by 1 or 4. All right, let's look at this uh, in more detail. When a monopolist lowers a the price, there are basically two effects. So on the right-hand side, this change in revenue can be, to be decomposed in two effects. The first we might call the price effect, the change in P times Q. The second effect is sometimes referred to as the output effect. We're selling additional units at the now lower price. So let's use the values here in this figure to plug into our formula. So the change in revenue is going to equal the change in price. The price fell by two dollars, okay, it fell by two dollars from ten to eight here, so that's where this minus two is coming from, that's the change in P. And this is happening over two units of output, okay, so that's where this Q is coming from, this, this fall in price is happening over two units of output, so that's where this two is coming from. So that's the first part. So when we lower the price, there's this sort of this negative effect here in the firm's revenue. The price has to be lowered on all previous units produced, and that leads to a $4 loss minus 2 times 2. The good news is when we lower the price, we sell more units. In this case, we sold exactly one more unit. So the change in Q here as we go from 2 to 3 is just 1. So the change in Q in parentheses here as we go from 2 to 3 is just 1, and we sell that additional unit at a price of $8. So overall, here the change in revenue from selling one more unit, producing and selling one more unit, is $4. So we decompose the effect of the price change. Uh, we could do this uh, a little bit more detail here. One way to do this is to take this top equation and divide it through by change in Q. Okay, so every component in this top expression is divided through by change in Q. The left-hand side is just marginal revenue. Right here, nothing changes right here with this first term on the right-hand side. Uh, this last term on the right-hand side, we can cancel the change in Qs, leaving us just with P. And a lot of times books will just rewrite it like this, put the P first. So we can use this formula here as well to calculate the marginal revenue. So in this case, P will be 8. Okay, so P is 8. The change in P, the change in P we said is minus 2. Okay, the change in Q is just 1, producing one more unit of output, and the Q here, what we have in parentheses, is just 2, which we saw up here. So marginal revenue is 8 minus 4, or $4. So just to sum up here, um, our expression for marginal revenue in algebra-based notation. Marginal revenue is decomposed into two parts. So the first part here, the P, selling one more unit of output, increases revenue by the price that unit was sold for. So that's the, the positive effect. 
And then there's the, the negative effect. Selling one more unit of output requires lowering the price on the previous units produced. That's the Q units. In our case, it was two, which reduces revenue by the following. And that's it. So I hope you found this video helpful.